Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you, Stephanie? I'm great, thanks. Great. So you've won Top Chef. You're a James Beard Award winner. You've opened several restaurants with one more on the way. Um, and now you're on to this other project working with uh, Pinterest on this new cookbook. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm really excited to be working on the first Pinterest cookbook. There's tons of recipes and um, food photos on Pinterest already, but this will be the first ever cookbook along with Lay's Wavy. And the best part is that the fans actually get to participate in creating the inspiration behind the recipes. Oh, good. Well, how do the fans participate? They just go to Pinterest.com backslash Lay's Wavy, and there's pictures of some different dishes that maybe we have, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis from deviled eggs to donuts to grits to sushi, um, and each one is paired up with a different flavor of Lay's Wavy, from hickory barbecue to ranch to cheddar, and just unexpected flavor combinations that people can pin and pick their favorite ones. And the top 20 pins we are going to turn into recipes for the cookbook that's coming out in May. Oh, wow, that's exciting. So what draws you to a recipe on Pinterest? I think looking at just new creative inspiration, you know, and what's great about Pinterest, of course, the picture itself is going to really draw you in for wanting to try a recipe. Um, I think it's also really fun to look at some of the recipes that maybe didn't go so well for people, and it gives you uh, inspiration to maybe get in and try it yourself, too. That's interesting. Some of the fails might uh, kind of lead you down another path. Yeah, you just think, hey, um, I mean, that was a good idea. I think I will try it, too. And you've created some new recipes for the cookbook um, with some unique flavor combinations. Can you tell us about what you created? Yeah, the first recipe I created is actually using Lay's Wavy Cheddar. Um, I made a crumble topping that's got oats, it's got a little bit of sweetness, nice savory note from the crumbled uh, Cheddar Lay's Wavy chips inside. And what's great is you can put it on top of, I've got some apple pancakes right here that I'm putting on top of. You can put it on your ice cream, bake it right on top of some muffins, put it on top of your uh, yogurt in the morning, uh, even on your oatmeal. So great way to add texture. Um, that little bit of cheddar and the Lay's Wavy chip inside adds extra crunch as well as that fun savory note. So an unexpected crunch on top is always fun. That is interesting. I wouldn't have thought to put the, uh, the cheddar chips with that, but it makes sense with the apple pancakes too, kind of like putting cheddar cheese on your apple pie. Exactly. That was where the inspiration came from. And then when I tasted the the crumble, I decided it would just be good on most anything. That sounds fantastic. I can't wait to try that. What are some of the other combinations um, that you think of when you uh, look at the different ways, um, the Lay's chips flavors? Uh, you know, anything as simple as from the hickory barbecue ones I put inside of a turkey sandwich along with a little tomato and avocado. It tastes like you're having the bacon inside your club sandwich with, with some added crunch. I think the roasted garlic and sea salt ones have so much flavor going on that you could, just even for a simple dinner, crumbling over the uh, linguine with a little bit of butter, and it adds all that flavor and texture for a great simple pasta dish. So there's so many possibilities in it. That kind of makes me hungry just thinking about it. It, it really does sound good. I can't wait to try some of those. Awesome. And speaking of trying it, how can we get a hold of this cookbook? When is it coming out? It's coming out in May, um, so it'll be at Pinterest.com at Lay's Wavy's uh, Pinterest site. And the first 20 recipes in May, and then another 20 coming in the fall, too, so even more flavors to come. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Um, I hope to get to try all of them, but if you had to pick, like, your favorite thing, what would you suggest? Well, well I have to wait and see what the guests actually, what the... Oh, fans right. go to and pin on, but I'm hoping they're going to go for the sushi because I want the challenge of making sushi even better with some Lay's Wavy Chips. Well, that's something I'd like to try, too, because yeah. I would have never thought to put chips with sushi ever. <laughs> <laughs> but that sounds like it's going to be really interesting. So yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with me today, and I can't wait to try these, these um, recipes. And hopefully get to visit your restaurant soon. I think we're going to come to Chicago for spring break this year. Oh, awesome. Well, hopefully we'll see you then. I hope so. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.